I'm Chef Baker, aka Omar Baker. First and foremost, welcome to Chef Baker Place 2. We're located in Jonesboro, 309 North Main Street. We operate a food truck. We go everywhere, anywhere, anytime, all day. All right, so first, you know, I'm Chef Baker from Jamaica. You know what I mean? Yeah, the thing, we got that in the middle of it too. You know what I mean? We got the Southern style cooking, so we kind of infuse all of that to make the best Southern Jamaican cuisine right now. Yeah, like I said, you can always pull up on me. Instagram is my main source of, you know, advertisement. So that Chef Baker place too. Over here, we got the smarter turkey wings over white rice with mac and cheese and collard green. Over here, we got the rib tips. Oh, tenderizing to rib tips right here. We got rice and peas, mac and cheese. Right here, we got a fried fish, french fries, mac and cheese. You know, everybody loves the mac and cheese over here. We got a collard green mac and cheese. And this is a lot of fried pork chops. Oh yes, over here to die for. Look at that. That's a whole meal right there. Time to two. Real plates. Real plates. Real food. How long have you been cooking? So I've been cooking food. I've been like 27 plus years and counting, man. I started out in Jamaica from, like I said, age 14. Started working in the friend family restaurant. Worked my way up to, you know, working a cruise ship, work a country club, guest house. Like you name the cuisine, pretty much I worked it. You know what I mean? So I work everywhere, south side, north side. I work different, um, probably like eight to nine, ten different states, part-time job, um, six months to nine months. You know, 2021, when the pandemic hit, start out business, start cooking from selling meal from home, work my way up to a food truck and a restaurant. October 9 was our, you know, 2021 were open date. What was, what was that process like? That process was it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless night, a lot of, you know, driving around looking for location talking to people, making phone calls, you know, just trying to get, just trying to get your foot in the door of, you know, getting the proper information, like I said, looking for a location, because they need a location to open. You know, when it started in 2021, it was a, it was a battle, but we worked it out, like I said, three years running, October 9, man, we still up and going, still giving God thanks, you know what I mean, start out as a young age, cooking, love it, and decided, you know, at some point in life, I'm going to own my own business, and God bless me, you know what I mean, to be where I'm at, you know. Started selling out the plates, like let us know, like so. First plate, and then maybe your first 10 20 plates. Like, let us know that process, that struggle, then the success of it. Yeah, so my, my process in 20, 2021 when the pandemic hit is to work at Wyndham Peachtree City. I was a chef, you know, what I mean, got followed, got laid off, restaurant closed. I decided, you know what, I gotta do something. So I started cooking and selling from home. Started driving around doing delivery. It was a family business. You know, when the family started delivering, you know, every two or, two or three days out of the week, we drive around do delivery. That's the same here. I met my business partner, Larry Petway. Shout out Larry, man. You know, top notch. My, my business partner for life, you know what I mean? So like I said, we start all just start driving around delivering meals. You know what I mean? Sometimes they'll come to the house and pick it up. You know, I worked my way up, like I said, to a restaurant. It was a, it was a bother. You know what I mean? Because you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. The middle of pandemic. Like that. Yeah. How hard is it get people's trust to purchase your food? Actually, for me, it wasn't really hard because majority of people who knew me prior, if you go on my Facebook page, I even advertised your Facebook. They knew I've been a chef pretty much all my life. So it wasn't hard starting out. It's just like I said, doing the delivery. You know what I mean? Get them to come and pick up, you know, on the days, you know, sometimes I'm not even open and they call me, Chef, when are you cooking? Are you cooking again? So it wasn't a hard process doing that because, like I said, people already know I've been cooking for a long time, so they know, you know, what I produce. So it wasn't hard. The hardest part was opening up the restaurant. Like I said, finding location, you know what I mean? Get the business concept together and everything like that. That was the hardest process, you know, getting the health inspection through all of that, you know, paperwork, all that stuff. But like I said, if you dedicate yourself to it, you're gonna do it, man. You'll you you will succeed. You know. So for somebody that doesn't know the process of starting a food truck, like, what was your your A to Z process of getting, like you said, getting the registration, getting the paperwork, and everything certified for you to be in business? So it, it's it's a process. So first and foremost, you gotta know what you wanna do. You gotta know your cuisine. You gotta know what you're gonna sell. You're gonna make sure that whatever you decide you're gonna you're gonna sell, you're gonna do the best. So you, we get all of that together. When you start a business concept, no, you're gonna have your business plan. You're gonna have, you know, you're gonna 
you know you're gonna get licensed you gotta register you gotta insure you're gonna need all of that process you're gonna need the llc you're gonna need an ein all those stuff so you apply for your llc get your ein get all of those open your bank account all of that stuff so when you whenever you get all those stuff together first before you even think about even getting a food truck make sure you find a location you don't have a location to do production and to get the certificate to get certified that's gonna be a struggle. You don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna be pulling up everywhere because when the health department pull up on you, they're gonna shut you down. It's harder for you to get your license, get your permit, and get certified when you get a truck without a location. Then you gotta drive around and look for a prep kitchen, which is hard to find. If you find a prep kitchen, that thing is expensive. So you might wanna start looking into getting a location to do your production, to do your and to get your certification. So when you do all of that, get your permit, you know, you 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 you're set, good to go. But you have to start the legwork by actually establishing yourself to so knowing where you're going to start production from, where you're going to get your permit, where you're going to get your license, actually get your EIN, get your social, get your um, your your LLC, you know, start all the processing. And then when you get all of that, man, you, you're set. You can go anywhere, anytime, you know, without getting pulled over. And so you can operate here or they come and say, okay, you're operating illegally. Now that's the best place to do it is straight. First, fully, you know what I'm saying, again. What, what, what did you start off with? The first thought, did you fully blow out your truck and have everything in it, or did you start piece by piece building no. your truck? So, first of all, when I started, um, you know, the process of the food truck, I gave my food truck customized. I designed the way I wanted everything inside, it designed just the way I wanted. It's like I can operate it by myself. I can operate with a team, two or three people, without bumping in each other. The way I set the menu, compared to the way I set the, um, designed the truck, it's easy to operate. You can find everything by just a turn. So I designed the truck myself. I get it customized just the way I liked it, just the way I needed it, just the way I wanted it. So I got it customized all the way through. Um, I designed it just so, like I said, it's more convenient for me and also a team. So if we're going to a big event, it's designed for three people on the truck at the same time and nobody bumping in each other. Everybody have their own little separate section that they can work and coordinate together. I designed it so it more convenient. And like I said, you know, we did, we did the entire thing. I opened the restaurant and the food truck the same day. So like I said, getting your business concept together, knowing what you're going to do. Get the food truck and the restaurant, we opened the same day. Why did you want to break it more than the brick and mortar is just basically, I needed a prep kitchen. I did not want to open a brick and mortar. I've operated restaurants for many years. I operate, you know, the rest of the country club. I operate in hotels. And for me, I was done with that. Sitting down the dining thing, I just want to take my food, go feed people and go home. I didn't want to have people coming to me and sit down. there. for me to sit in a restaurant and wait for a customer to come, you know, it, that wasn't me anymore. So I just wanted a food truck and a prep kitchen. When I started, um, when I, you know, trying to get all the process together, they wanted me to open the restaurant. So they pretty much forced me to open the restaurant. So after a while, staff, nobody really want to work. So, you know, me and I had staff, you know, decided to move on to, you know, something new. So I decided, well, now it's time for me to just close the restaurant. You know, temporary, not permanently, because, you know, things happen where you got to open for a day or two and God forbid something happened with the truck, you know, I can operate from the restaurant at the same time. But it's more convenient for me to operate the truck. So I just decided to do both of them because that's the only way I would get my license, get my permit and get to operate. And then whenever, you know, I don't have a staff in, what I did, I just operate by myself, majority of the stuff, you know. I mean, everything is cooked and prepped by me, yours truly. So I just operate a food truck. It was an event catering and big stuff going on. My business partner would chip in kids will chip in, you know what I mean? And we are, we do what we gotta do. Yeah. Every day, anywhere cuisine. That's how we do it. Pull up on me. Ready for you, ma'am? Ma'am, ready to go? Everything in the same bag, all right? Okay. All right, cool. Yes, ma'am, I got pins and sauces. All right, thank you.